Hey my friends, what is up? Derek here from Bomb Socks with a new week of Bomb Bites where we feast upon the words of Christ and as always we do it one bite at a time. Hey, just kind of a brief episode today for you just introducing uh, Genesis chapter 5 and Moses chapter 6. And honestly, I am so grateful for this week and for this account because we're going to touch on one of my scripture heroes and his name is Enoch. Okay. Now, let me show you what the Come Follow Me shares. They, the, again, there's great little introductory paragraphs to the Come Follow Me each week. I hope you're taking time to read those. Uh, this week it says, Most of Genesis 5 is a list of the generations between Adam and Eve and Noah. You start going through those, so-and-so begot, so-and-so begot, so-and-so, and so forth. We read a lot of names, but we don't learn much about them. Then we read about Enoch, six generations from Adam. Now, let me back up a little bit. Let me show you all we know about Enoch. And that when I say we, I mean just as the Christian world. This is everything the Christian world knows about Enoch. Uh, you go to Genesis chapter 5, you've got verse 18. Jared lived 162 years and begat Enoch. Jared lived after he begat Enoch 800 years and begat sons and daughters. We'll talk more about that this week. Um, and all the days of Jared were 960 and two years and he died. Whew. And Enoch lived 60 and five years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years. And Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. That's it. That is all the Christian world knows about Enoch. He is just another name there. Now, coming back to that come follow me, uh, it says Enoch walked with God. He was not for God took him. Surely there's a story behind that. I love that. And again, in all of the scriptures and all the Old Testament, it's like, man, there's got to be more of a story than that. But without further explanation, the list of generation resumes. Thankfully, thankfully, Moses 6 reveals the details of Enoch's story. And it's quite a story. He's one of my scripture heroes, so I'm grateful for that. We learn of Enoch's humility, his insecurities, the potential God saw in him, the great work he performed as God's prophet. We also get a clearer picture of the family of Adam and Eve as it progress through the generations. We read of Satan's great dominion, but of also parents who taught children the ways of God and preachers of righteousness who spake and prophesied. Especially precious is what we learn about the doctrine these parents and preachers taught. Faith, repentance, baptism, receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. That doctrine, like the priesthood that accompanies it, was in the beginning and it shall be in the end of the world also. So this is just a simple testimony how grateful I am for Moses chapter 6. I love the Old Testament. I love it. But I love how modern revelation has brought more of these individuals into our focus and we can learn more about Enoch. So this week as we're learning about Enoch, I just I, I am so grateful for Moses chapter 6 because it adds further light and knowledge to just a couple of verses in the Old Testament. I mean, we know so much more about Enoch and I'm grateful for that. Just a quick little message for you today. Hope that helps you out. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thank you so much for sharing these messages. We appreciate that. Uh, go check out our amazing gospel theme socks over at bombsocks.com. And you guys have a great day. Godspeed. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.